Hello and welcome to lesson seven. We may have to break this lesson into two parts, um, but um, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's see how we get on in this one, first of all. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to build something called a while loop. This information is great. We've got the payment information. What we'd actually like, though, is a month by month breakdown over the possible 360 months of this, uh, of this kind of loan. Um, how much principal we've paid off each month, how much is of a payment of that $546 payment is interest being paid off, and then what's the remaining principal at the end of each month. So first of all, you'll be paying a lot of interest and a little bit of principal, and then you'll be paying off less and less interest as you pay down the principal until eventually the principal or the balance becomes absolutely zero at the end and you've paid off the loan and we'd like a month by month breakdown of all the kind of interest payments all the paying off the principal payments and then uh, how much somebody is paying in total and anyway, hopefully it'll all make sense just amortizing this this mortgage of whatever length of time it is so before i get into that i'm going to need to declare a few variables so let me uh, let me just kick off with uh with a few variables that we need to do this so current interest payment. So of that uh, payment each month, how much of it is interest on the loan rather than paying down the principal? Obviously, give it a, a kind of default value. How much are we actually paying off of the principal? So what's the current principal payment out of this amount of money each month? And, and finally, at the end of the month, we've paid off some of the principal here. We've paid off some of the principal. Sorry, got the wrong one there. That one there. Um, how much of the principal is left for next month's mortgage payment? How much have we paid it down by? So what's the current balance at the end of the payment uh, period? Okay, so that's the current balance. Now... The current balance before we get going at all is the full principal. If I borrow $100,000, the current balance in month one is $100,000. So the initial condition is the current balance, which you know we're going to be paying this down slowly. The current balance is equal to the principal. Now, I could just use the principal variable, but I always like to give variables decent names. And if it changes kind of a semantic intellectual meaning, just create a new variable. If you keep reusing the same variables again and again, even though the name, the meaning of the name is changing, then you could give yourself a lot of debug problems later on. OK, now what we need to do is uh, we need to set up this while loop. We're going to go from... Um, the number of months in the loan, which we've worked out here, now we've typically been using 360 months. So we want to start at month one, and then we want to go up to month 360. And then hopefully by then the principal is reduced to zero. So how do we do that? And there's a number of ways of doing it. There's for loops and um, all sorts of things in C and C++ and Perl and PHP. But my favorite kind of loop for this is a while loop. Do this while the conditions hold, because it's a flexible loop. You're not, you, 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 you just set up a, a finish condition. So while it's raining, hold up your umbrella. It's not hold up your umbrella for one hour. It's while it's raining, hold up your umbrella. And that's what we're going to do here. While it's raining payments, keep paying. And when you've finished paying, when the payment period is over, stop paying. So here we go. I'm going to have to say, oh, before I do this, uh, we've only got the total number of months which is going to be um, 360. What I'd like, actually, is, uh, is month one. So I'm going to need another, um, another variable. So I'm going to call this um, current loan a month. So uh, this is going to, I'm going to make this, um, make it a long to make it match the, uh, the months of loan. Long, current loan month. And we're going to set that up to start at one. So we're going to go into the first loan month period. Okay, now we go into our while loop, which is great. Okay, while the current loan month is less than or equal to, where is that cheeky chap? The total number of months, 
So while 1 is less than or equal to 360, should we go into this loop? Yes, we should go into this. Is it raining? Yes, we'll put your umbrella up then. And so we go into the farmer's field here. Now what we're going to do at the end of this loop is we're going to say, and oh, this is why C++ gets its name of course, we're going to add one on to the current loan month to work out the payments for month two. So we just do current loan month plus plus. That's actually equal to this. Um, but we haven't got time to type all of that and it's more funky and cool and geeky to uh, just do that. So we'll start with loan month one, then we'll do some calculations here probably in the next lesson. Then we'll work out, then we'll add one onto the month, take it to month two. Then we'll check, is month two less than or equal to 360? Yes, then do some more payment calculations, etc., etc. And then eventually we get to the point where we've three five month three five nine we add one on here 360 we come up to the top of the while loop again is 360 less than or equal to 360 yes it is okay one last time we run through okay and then current loan month we add one on 361 then we go back to the top of the while loop is 361 less than or equal to 360 no well then finish then so we'll, we'll even, we could even put a little message out there, couldn't we? So we could say down here, we could say loan complete. Why not? Uh, that's full stop. And end line. Oh, my fingers are in the wrong place there. End line. Super, there we go. Now, just to check this is, I mean, this should compile, I hope, fingers crossed. Yeah, it's succeeded, yeah. Yeah, I know we haven't used those. Don't worry about that. We will be using those in the next lesson. Okay, now I don't actually want to go th through. Well, you know, we can just make it go through if you want. Uh, five. Well, that's no good, is it? We can't see anything. We can't see if it's worked. What I'm going to do, just to check this is working, is I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to put a little kind of idiot message just so that we know it's working. So see out. Um, what we'll do is we'll just print out what the current loan month is. We can put a little message here, couldn't we? So we sort of say the current, the current month. And then we'll just put an end line on there, just for fun. Super. Now, that should go from 1 to 360. Let's see if it does. So let's just like that. Yeah, we'll worry about that later. It's just a warning. 100,000. Doesn't actually matter because we're not doing any more calculations. But let's not break the program. Remember, we've done no real validation here. We've not checked that we're putting in zero months and zero percent interest and other strangenesses. Um, 30 years. There we go. Look at that. Let's bring this up a bit. We can see that the while loop, we've entered it at the top and we've put in one. Then we've gone round to the I've gone round to the top of the while loop again, added after adding on one, got to two, and then round to the top of the while loop again, added on three, and we've done that for 360 months. In the next lesson, in each of those months, we're going to work out these three things here. Of the 500 and whatever it was, $46 payment that somebody made, in $36 in a particular month, how much went on paying interest, how much went on paying down the principal, and how much principal is left for use in the next monthly calculation uh, until eventually that goes hopefully down to zero and then the person will be able to uh, go and have a pina colada somewhere. Okay, I think that's enough for now. Thank you and good night.